Hello everyone. My name is Professor Tiruk Parmar. In this particular series, I am going to start with a subject that is called as Linux administration. It is a subject, one of the subject from TYBACIT semester 5. Most of time, many student faces many difficulties regarding this particular subject. They always find it very, very, very difficult. And that is the only reason I am starting with this particular series where I am going to discuss theory, that is one thing, plus practicals. Both these things I am going to cover under this particular series so that we can easily relate what we mean by something in a theoretical manner and how to perform the same in a practical manner. So I am going to cover both the things simultaneously so that one can easily understand the this particular subject. One more thing. I'm going to cover last five years, last five years paper solution here as well. So we are going to cover it in depth, the whole subject we are going to cover here. Just remember this thing. So you just need to follow it. Time to time I'm going to update notes as well as practicals and you just need to follow it and you don't need anything else except this. So let's start with our subject introduction. So as I said, Linux administration is our subject. So before understanding about our subject, we should have some basic understanding about what we mean by operating system. So as you can see, operating system, it plays very important role. Why? Because if I want to connect or if I want to communicate with some disk drive or if I want to run some application program or if I want to display something on my monitor, or if I want to type something from my keyboard or if, or if we want to print something or if we want to play some games or something, we need operating system. Uh, this is the only way possible to perform anything on a computer. I'm communicating with all of you right now. That is possible only because of operating system. If we don't, do not have operating system, then it is not possible for me to run this particular application as well, where I can create video lectures for you guys. So, if I want to play this particular type of a file, this music, on a processor. So, how processor is going to understand whether I am asking him to play some uh, music file. So that is only possible with the help of a middleware. We have one middleware here and that middleware is called as operating system. Remember we have multiple things here as you can see what is operating system. So operating system comes with many different layers and the core part of our application program or operating system is called as a kernel. Uh, in simple terms we often call it as Kernel is heart of operating system. Kernel is called as heart of operating system. We have multiple operating system, for example, uh, Macintosh or Windows or Linux. And uh, we also have mobile version for all these operating systems as well. Now, you are here using something right now to watch this particular lectures, remember? And what you are using? An operating system for the same. Now, this particular course will help us to understand how to become Linux administrator. Uh, administrator. What are things are required to become an Linux administrator? How can we configure a network? How to set up a server? How to make server communicate with other clients? And if we have server configured with a Linux based operating system and clients with Windows based operating system, then how can we make this two different operating system communicate with each other and how uh, it is possible for them to share data over the same network. It is everything is possible with the help of an operating system and this course will basically helps us to understand how to set up a network what are the advantages of Linux operating system and many different things. So basically we have six different units for this particular subject or I can say six different pillars for this. So the first pillar where we basically talks about Unix and Linux as you can see where we are going to talk about basic about what is Unix and what is Linux. Why we started with something like Linux then what is who is system administrator what are the main duties of system administrator 
then the same way we are also going to talk about that is booting process and uh, what do you mean by shutting down and file systems and many different things remember we are going to cover almost um, i mean all the question which is previously asked based on unit one then second pillar as you can see where we are going to discuss about some servers which basically helps us for one reason that is connecting our servers or database server with different clients so here we are going to talk about like system configuration files then tcp ip networking what do you mean by nfs that is network file system and how we can deal with it then the third part where we are going to talk about connecting windows operating system with linux operating system and many different things so these are the first three units now here we have a fourth unit where we are going to talk about dns remember dns stands for domain name system so if i am if uh, you are using any particular website then that website is basically set up on any one i uh, any one ip address now it is very difficult for us to remember ip address and hence we put a name on that the same way how we basically store someone's mobile number in our phone so it is not possible for us to remember each and every one's mobile number and, and hence what we do uh, on on top of mobile number we add some name so if next time if i want to uh, communicate with that particular person what i'll do in my phone book i'll just search for that particular name and as soon as we click on that name mobile system will all, uh, automatically dial a number which is linked with that particular name and the same way we have domain name here so domain name is also linked with one particular ip address so just by going to web browser just we just need to type that particular domain name there and as soon as we enter the domain name a browser automatically make a call on a ip address which is linked with that particular domain name so here in this particular part i'll show you how to set up a domain or dns how to configure dns server in linux we'll do practical as well as how to write what are the things we need to add so those things also we are going to cover here so it basically divided in three part as you can see uh, i'm just uh, covering broad topics now huh? there are many different small topics are also related here which we are going to cover in future lectures so it doesn't means that uh, unit 4 con contain this much part only no this is the main broadest of the broadest part which we are going to discuss in this particular unit the same way in next that is unit 5 we are going to talk about how we can connect with mysql that is uh, something which we use for uh, uh, database then php and same way apache remember these three things are very very important if we want to work with some website so uh, mysql basically uh, helps us to handle databases php is our front end language which we, uh, which we can use to develop a website and we have apache server so basically if uh, some client sends a request to server uh, to uh, if demanding some data then who's going to handle those requests that is apache server this is the icon of apache server this is the logo of apache server so basically this particular server helps us to set up a client server architecture then in a last lecture we are going to talk about some internet services and many different things so i hope this particular part is clear so in detail we are going to cover each and every part with practical i'm going to cover here now let's start with unit one and chapter one so as we know that chapter one contains a basic about unix and linux so remember this particular part is a, a introduction so in next lecture i'll start with uh, introduction as well as we are going to talk about many different things thank you